some news on the uh, WWE Draft 2024 edition, which will get started on October 26th on SmackDown and continue on October 29th on Raw. Uh, but a report from Fightful Select regarding uh, perhaps a decision WWE has made on what's next for not just Raw, not just SmackDown, but also NXT. As we know, seems like uh, when it comes to the draft, there are a lot of people who will move around a bit, especially during WrestleMania season. We saw that quite a bit, of course, specifically within the Bloodline storyline, but really beyond that, uh, leading up to WrestleMania 40. Uh, I think Triple H has tried to stick to the branding uh, as best he could leading up to, as we said, WrestleMania season. So if that's the one time a year that uh, WWE decides to move some people around, we'll accept it. But if they are going to stay with a bit of a hard draft this year, could it be because of this? And the FIFA Select report does note that uh, sources uh, within NXT have stated that it is certainly a, a real possibility that you're going to see a situation here where main roster talent on WWE are going to get drafted to NXT. And I think that is a very interesting proposition because we know there are going to be some of the talents that are going to move up from NXT. And it seems like we've already talked about, think about some people they've already featured uh, on WWE television just in the past week. We saw Ilya Dragunov. We saw Roxanne Perez, of course, getting um, a little bit of that screen time on Raw. Uh, and we'll see who winds up being the ones to to make their move up. Uh, I know there are several rumored names out there. Uh, Dragunov, I would think, has to be one uh, for sure because it feels like you know they sort of put him in that position, beating Shinsuke Nakamura on Raw, putting him in that sort of spotlight there uh, we'll find out on the women's side who that's going to be but we know there are some some names that would make a lot of sense for the call up we know Braun breaker already officially on the main roster um, now after they've sort of reset things for him following uh wrestlemania 40 we saw him on smackdown in the squash win but you know you have to replace some of these people now in nxt and who have we seen really in recent weeks right we've seen some people um, make the jump down to nxt we've seen ivar there we've seen natalia uh, she's going to be there of course the final testament has taken aim at the tag team titles in NXT. And I think that is something where it would make a lot of sense if they're going to start moving some people around. Some people who may be on the main roster are getting pushed to the back a little bit, not getting that screen time that maybe they want to get, um, or just does not seemingly fit into a storyline right now um, with everything. And I think it's also noted here within the report that this is really WWE's focus once again to make NXT a third brand, which we know that's what they always sort of tried to do when Triple H was there in charge of things. It never sort of transitioned to the main roster because we knew it was so different when Vince got to certain talent and the way he would use them maybe versus the way they were used in NXT. But it does seem like they are really pushing that. Of course, Triple H and Shawn Michaels working hand in hand here to make sure that you get sort of that transition now from NXT talents to the main roster. And as we said, now could see a situation where you're seeing a lot more um, I don't know if a lot's necessarily the right word. I'm curious to see what that number is. If this is the direction they decide to go in, how many people get drafted from the main roster to NXT? Uh, and it's also, again, within the report that they're really going to focus on this draft within the NXT leading up to that spring break and, um, you know, event there. So so the way that they, they build towards that, they're going to focus on the draft. So that is something that was not always the case in the past. We know it's a new era. Trust me. We've talked about it a lot here recently. And so... I think that that's going to be a lot of fun to see how they pull this off and see who exactly they're going to send from the main roster. Like we said, we have some examples of people who have been on NXT in recent weeks, but I think this is one of those situations where you take, as usual, some of the hottest stars in NXT, the ones that maybe have already completed some of their story arcs, and now move them to the main roster. You know, A lot of fresh matches, a lot of new possibilities you can build towards there. And then you see if you can kind of rejuvenate some people's career on the main roster, which let's be honest, Baron Corbin is someone who was kind of what floundering there for a while. Didn't really know what his role is, uh, was not really getting anywhere on the main roster, sort of stalled out, um, you know, after some some starts and stops along the way uh, in bigger positions, as we know, and all that. But, you know, kind of goes back, has this team with Braun Breaker. And I think as I heard someone saying the other day, it's like, it's not a, not usual on the main roster back in the day when you're getting like people chanting for Baron Corbin and all this other stuff. So it it can be done, and I think that's where the importance of Triple H and Shawn Michaels being able to work together on this stuff to where it's not just you know, you're on an island here, you're on an island there, where you don't have these two entities working together within the same company to make it feel like the third brand and not just 
a completely different company within the company, which at times it felt like it was that way um, back in the day with NXT in terms of how the WWE main roster looked at it versus what NXT actually was. And so I think that's certainly significant here. If this is, again, the way it's going to be, um, this is a report that's out there. And so why else is this important? I, I think is really interesting to look at here. Remember, NXT is about to move to the CW. So they're moving to the CW network, and that is a significant move, as we talked about, because that's not, you know, you're, you're moving into a different sort of dynamic now in terms of uh, visibility and all that. So do you want to now, knowing that that move is coming, put some of these maybe not top main roster stars on NXT? We know it's not going to be any of the top, top names that are in the huge storylines right now or anything like that. But do you send some people over to where they bring a little bit more of you know the experience to NXT, you have some names you can lean on there um, that helps you again making this move to another network, which is always important. And we know they're going to do the same every time when SmackDown moves, when Raw moves, they're going to have huge things planned. But this is different for NXT because they are moving to the CW network. We know Raw is going to Netflix. We know SmackDown is going back to USA. So I think it's very important that they set the roster up to where maybe you're not just looking at a whole roster of people that. If you're tuning into the CW network for the first time, you're trying to bring in new fans that they may not have any idea who these people are. Now, again, not to say that they're going to know who all of the mid card or lower mid card people are that could be drafted in NXT, but you at least have a little bit more of that foundation to build off of with the experience. And so I think that could be very interesting. And it certainly has to be one of the reasons for this move, other than the fact that they want to just make NXT feel equal, which, as we've said before, too, that has been the thought. When you think about all the people that they put on NXT, you know, Becky Lynch and, and all the cameos, you know, people that, that made NXT appearances there months ago, um, trying to get to that new television deal. That was all part of it. They wanted to make NXT feel bigger and feel like it was on equal ground with Raw and SmackDown. And so I really like this idea. If this is what they decide to do, uh, I'm curious how they can rejuvenate, you know, some of the characters of these people who are going from Raw and SmackDown to NXT um, and it does give you more opportunity for fresh matches too, right? And that's always important. I think when you have a roster that's this big, take advantage of it. Get some fresh matches. Um, it also helps having veterans work with the younger people, right? And that's the whole point. In XT, there's a lot of younger talent there. Um, that's why you bring in, you know, a, a Sean Spears and people like that, right? So it's giving you a chance to, to pair veterans with younger workers, that kind of stuff moving forward, uh, and have all those kind of storyline possibilities that you can work with there. So, um, yeah, I think that's what you want. And so I like this. If, if they're going this route and we see, again, I don't think it's a huge number of people, but I'm curious to see who it, who it would be, um, how many, you know, is it five to ten, something like that? I don't That may be about the range. I think ten's probably on the high range. I don't know if I see ten people drafted from the main roster to NXT, but I'm at least intrigued because I do think it gives you exactly what you want for NXT heading into the CW network, uh, you want to give you know as much visibility as you can. You want to kind of give it a different feel. And if the third brand stuff is what they're really pushing towards, which it feels like that's always wanted to be the case for Triple H, uh, kind of you know moving forward, then I think you you add some more talent to the mix and you see what you can do with them uh, and see if you can make some very interesting stuff coming out of it. So let me know your thoughts on uh, some Raw and SmackDown talent being drafted in NXT. Um, seems like it could be a little bit more um, significant this time uh, and seeing exactly how this unfolds. So give me your predictions. Who would you like to see maybe drafted from Raw and SmackDown to NXT? We may do that maybe a video on that before the draft coming up in a couple weeks. Um, so may give our thoughts on who we could see drafted from the main roster to NXT and vice versa. So give me all your picks for the upcoming 2024 WWE draft. And uh, as always, I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks for the great feedback. Hit that subscribe button and like button on your way out. But uh, as always, prediction times in the comments. Who is going to be drafted to NXT? Give me your picks.